one chance. He's, he's young in the sport. He's 26 years old. You know, he's out of Wise Warriors I'm in the MMA with, with uh, Ray Norris, like we said. So you know this guy's coming with a solid game plan, a killer walkout rope, and the American flag. You know, he's 3-0 in MMA. He's got some at just grappling experience. You know, he's, he's done a few tournaments, things like that. But all of his wins have come by stoppage. So I think he's gonna look to keep that, that streak on, on track. Yeah, both these guys are finishers, so that's probably what we're gonna get here. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I think I called this could possibly be fight of the night. I think this, this on paper, this tells me this is gonna be one heck of a scrap. Yeah, right now I think Lance is right about that kickbox match. Uh, Jack Reef and CJ, that was fight of the night so yeah, far. Yeah, I've got. We had a good heavyweight one earlier though too. I don't know if you saw that one. Two big boys, second fight. Of the yeah, Josh Cochran and yeah, they're that was they're fun. banging pretty good. Yeah, that too. was a good one. But yeah, I think I think Reef. Yeah, yeah I, I give my vote to yeah, that one. I think it's. Which we're not the deciding factor. We get votes, but we're not the deciding factor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just giving our opinion, you yeah, know. Just giving our opinion. Right, yeah, I guess we're, I think we've only had one sub, one sub of the night, or one sub, so that one's obviously leading for that. So. But here we are, we got back to back title fights. This is our first one up here. Owen Chance looks like he's in much better shape than the last time. Physically, that tells me he's getting stronger, he's training the right way. And, again, that, and also that hardware, I'm sure gives a little bit more motivation as well. I'm always so worried when a guy goes to jump in there and stomp like I that. I think he's going to snap like an ankle. Blow, or blow, blow a up, yeah, yeah, blow something, blow ACL yeah. or to MC, you know, you never know. So Clark Stith, we're going to see a very familiar face here in Jordan Dowdy in the background there. Trains out of Wolves Den, you know, as you like. I'm sure Sean's training The creme de la creme. A bunch, the creme de la creme, as he says. He might be a little biased, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually heard about Clark Stith a, a whole lot. I mean, not just from Jordan, but just from other people. There, you know, he's he's a lot to handle, and he's got athlete, good coaching. He really is, man. I mean, like you said, I'm a little bit biased, but like I feel this dude on the daily, and I'm not playing when I say he's one of the strongest individuals I've ever felt. Good job. He's real raw, real green in his skills, but just when we're talking pure strength. This dude is strong. Well, let's see if he can do something others haven't. And that's get Owen late into the round to see what Owen can do later yeah. on. Yeah. Well, one thing Jordan had said was he thought this would be a fight that that Clark has eventually. He didn't think it was going to happen this soon, but sometimes you just got to jump to the top. Sometimes you, you know you don't, you so, don't get to pick and choose opponents all the time. Also, yeah. sometimes when nobody wants to fight you, you got to fight the other guy that nobody wants to fight. <laughs> so, yeah, opportunities present themselves, and you know so you just got to take it. And you, Absolutely. Don't, you don't want to turn down a title fight either. I mean, that's Owen looking very game. He's smiling. He's happy. Oh, look at him making eye contact. This will, this hey, this will be a fun one, boys. Ooh, yeah, they both yeah they both locked eyes and they ain't broken since. See, I've never been the guy who stares at him and locks eyes this and that. It just, it doesn't affect me either way. Yeah, that's silly to me, man. Either way, you know, I'm about to give it my all, whether you look yeah. at me or not. Adam's not an intimate guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds for the Bankin' and a Bank Amateur Welterweight Championship. Brought to you tonight by the Bracket Group at the Holiday Inn Creek Court. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter, 10, 5 foot 7, weighing in 171 pounds. Built an amateur record, three wins, this zero is the eight. ultimate stare off. Representing Wise Warriors MMA and fighting out of Mount Pulaski. Yeah, they not playing. The eye contact is fierce. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a mock gym two style fighter, standing six foot tall. He weighed in 168.5 pounds. Built an amateur record, one win, zero defeats. Representing Wolfson and fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Clark, the man is Let's go. The referee tried to get to Francis. Gentlemen, we want to run all the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch them up, go back to the corner. 
This is intense. No these, touch. Yeah, these two are selling the fight themselves. And this is the kind of, I kind of like this kind of banter. It's respectful, but it's still banter where they're kind of eyeballing each other. There's no disrespect, really. I feel like with the intensity beforehand, this is about to be a quick one. There we go. Wow, both looking pretty ca calculated. Yeah, I was going to say, that was not what I was expecting. Oh, yeah, I was expecting a bum rush from both guys. A little calf sweep there. I think Owen's worried about the uh, the power and explosion of Clark's. Nice. Nice level change. That was good takedown. Owen's Clark chance trying to, he's fighting. Owen getting right back up, though. Clark's background is wrestling. Yeah. So he's pretty comfortable here. One of the logos coming up on the mat here. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to be ripped off here shortly. Mm -hmm. Clark doing a good job of keeping him down. Owen's still fighting to get up there. Yeah, well, Clark is strong as he is. He's got that body lock that's sucking the wind out of him. Gets that cross grab right there. Wrist oh. control is nice. Not allowing Owen to post up and, and start a technical get up. You know, like we said, we get, if Clark can drag him into deep waters, Owen hasn't been there. So we, we'll get to see if Owen can answer the question if he can be there or if he'll falter under that. The only thing right here for Clark, that he's, he's, he's got pressure on the midsection, which makes it hard to breathe, but his arm is stuck. So he's not able to posture up and actually get some strikes off. Yeah, Owen doing a pretty good job of stalling him out here. He's got the arm free. Again, not trying to be biased, man, but <laughs> Owen is going to have a hard time getting up from here. You're more allowed to be biased than we are, so have at it. <laughs> I've, just, I've been in this spot before, and... No, I feel it. It's difficult to deal with. Well, no one's stalling him out, but he's not going to. Clark's doing enough work; it's not going to be stood up. Some nice. There action. it is, nice. I think that's underutilized. Sometimes those shoulder thrusts. I think they should be used more sometimes. Oh yeah, the, uh, those are definitely more effective, I believe, than some of the rabbit punches guys choose to go with sometimes. I actually did that when I fought Luke Waltney. I, he had a double overhook, so I just started throwing my shoulder into his face, and I had to go to the hospital after that one. And I was sitting there, I was like, "Why is my shoulder hurt?" I had like a golf ball sticking off the front of my deltoid. Dude and I was like, had a hard face. Dude, I I landed about six solid ones, and I didn't remember doing it. Obviously, in the middle of the fight, adrenaline's going, and then I was like, oh, that's why my shoulder oh, hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is amazing when you look back on your tape and realize the stuff you've done that you don't even remember in the fight. Or sometimes when you get rocked, you don't remember the fight at all. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> or stuff that, you know, during the fight don't hurt, but hurt after. Hurt later, yeah. Clark trying to make some space here. Yeah, we got a, we got a little stalling, I think, for both. Clark's been doing a little bit of lay and praying, and yeah, for Owen's sure. holding on for. Well, right there, Clark's that was, good. In, that was good. Puts his forearm right in his chin, right in the throat. That trying to get some sucks. space. He said, oh yeah. He said, "I heard the clap. I'm going to steal the round." And I think he did. I think I he agree. got the takedown. He stayed on top. I agree with you. Clark's confidence is sky high. We're not going to ask Sean. I think Sean's going to have all three rounds him, no matter what happens. So. <laughs> <laughs> you said what? Well, I missed uh, that. I said I don't think I'm going to ask you who you think is winning. Oh, because I think you're going to have all three rounds no Clark, matter Clark, what. Clark, Clark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I think Clark no, Owen's, it, yeah. Owen's still in it though. He's yeah. game. He's still yeah. Owen's in it for sure. For sure. I, I think he's going to take a different game plan now and and maybe defend that takedown a little bit better and and really be on the lookout for that because once Clark's on top of him, he was not moving. You said it right, Sean. He is not moving at all. Yeah, I didn't see that getting getting uh, stood up unless the referee did it or, you know, Owen, Owen um, stalled him up enough to get him mop me in his goofy, quirky self trying to draw my attention here. But well, Yeah, I mean, this is what I wanted. I want to see what Owen has in the second and third round. I want to see what type of fighter he is deep in the waters. Yep, there you go. Adam called it. Yeah, he, logo <laughs> had to go. Logo had to go. Well, yeah, it's also pretty humid in here, so that yeah. kind of doesn't help the stickiness. Owen's going to make it main priority to not get close and not get taken down this round. He doesn't want to spend a whole he's already, other round yeah, on he's his already back. Dropping. You can tell he's dropping his weight every time. Clark yeah, getting moves. preparing to defend the takedown. Now, does Clark have a wrestling background? Yeah, yeah, that's his base. That's where he, that, that's. He's a high school, college? Uh. High school for sure, yeah. He had he had some college wrestling experience too, yeah. I don't, you know, not nothing crazy like D1 or nothing like that, but he's definitely got some college wrestling. Clark experience. gets a hold of me. He's like a pit bull. Well, I like that body lock. I've always liked that body lock. And my old coach Ryan Sutton, 
he would always tell you, bring your grip, grips to your hips. And with us being taller guys, grips to your hips, it gets their feet right off the ground to where they're skimming the, the mat, and you do what you want with them. Well, that's, uh, I mean, if I recall right, that's what he used to get Luke down to end up finishing that fight as well. Grips to hips, I like that. That's what you said, right? Grips yeah. to hips? Okay. And later when we're standing up, I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll take a step back for that one. Yeah, that's grown men. That's, that's grown, grown man grown stuff. stuff. Grown man talk. <laughs> you go to the kids' table. <laughs> Aww. Do I get one of those yeah, tears? I don't know nothing about that wrestling. Side control here. Hey, me, me neither, Sean. Looks like he's going for like a Missouri. No, nope, he's let that go. So, how is Clark's jujitsu? It, it, it's 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 good too. It's good for you know for you know him being an amateur. He's pretty green still. He's had this is like his second amateur fight, I believe. Oh yeah. Or like that. Yeah. It's it's. It's very good for the level that he's at. They're talking right and now. He took to jujitsu, you know, very, very, uh, just better than most wrestlers do. Yeah, well, he's an athlete. I mean, you can tell he's an athlete. I've always said this. Athletic guy, I, I am very not athletic. I've worked very, very hard to be mediocre in the athlete athletic department. There's some guys that just... They get everything. They understand how to do it. And, and Clark seems like one of those guys. For sure. I would definitely, yeah, I'd agree with that. One of his uh, go-to moves as far as jiu-jitsu is the head and arm choke. Yeah. And uh, I feel like that's what he, he, he's wanting to set up here. Well, that's what he won with his first fight with, too. So we kind of got the same as last time. It's Clark's being a little more patient. Owen's hanging on. Uh, some, there's a little bit talking back and forth. Can't tell what's being saying, but Clark's whispering some sweet nothings in no one's ear. I think that's what it is. I think he's telling them stories. <laughs> I'm sure Clark's hoping it's a bedtime story. Doubt. <laughs> so one thing I don't like uh, when ju in jiu-jitsu is when they do that, I call it a lazy block, where they put your foot on top of their other legs. That makes it, it's actually easy to pass if you just push that knee down. So I actually... <laughs> I take my leg around under that that leg that's popped up, bring it around that leg that's laying down, and then it ends up being almost like a like a uh, like a twister. Clark swelling up on him after yeah, that. We're making a lot, a lot of Eddie Bravo references tonight. No, kind of the same as the first. Uh, Clark was on top, looked dominant. Yeah, it was very uneventful, but very one-sided. Same as the first. And I got to say, Jordan Dowdy up there looking good in his Sean Woodson UFC pants. Hey, my boy. I didn't even notice those until you just said them. <laughs> not, every, you, not everybody can get those. You know, we'll allow it since, uh, since they support you. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that Otherwise, round was pretty much you like all the know first. the rule. You're not supposed to wear UFC unless you're in the UFC. So. <laughs> See, I, th I think that actually has changed. Has it? I was going to say, that's a rule? So it was a rule. <laughs> It was, I, I wouldn't say we're it was old. a rule. It was, <laughs> one, it was one of those things yeah. where if you wear a UFC yeah. shirt, you were trying to put off the the, uh, the idea that you were in the UFC. Yeah. That's like it, ain't I, the, it ain't the equivalent of wearing a tap out shirt, is it? It, you, it, it was. <laughs> not, not so much now because now, now it's just like you're wearing an no, NFL shirt. Fans wore tap out back then. When I first got into the sport, I literally bought eight tap out T-shirts, one for every day of the week, and I could cycle one out. I, even <laughs> I, I bought like four pairs of shorts. Oh, dude, you have no idea. I have. Own, I'm not gonna. I own one tap out uh, shirt. In my I day. had them for. I had mine for about a couple months, and I realized I was like, I can't be wearing these. <laughs> I had one tap out shirt. I'm not gonna lie. It was hey. a black one. Owen doing a better job of keeping Clark off him right now. Nice jab up top, but I think Owen's gonna have to get a, a get a, a finish here. See though, Clark, God, Clark Ooh, once he gets you, he just I'm telling you, let go. Once he, once Clark gets on top of you, man, it is hell to get back up. Yeah, and you saw the corner. Good Mop second. was kind of going over the head and arm choke. So I, I look for, and he's swimming right there to get that underhook on that far side. Nice, using the, using the forehead to get that chin up when uncomfortable. Looks like he's trying to jump sides. Well, if he gets that left underhook, he's going to want to jump sides yeah. to get that head and arm choke. Almost rolling him over. 
Doesn't look like Owen really has an answer for this other than. I wouldn't uh, mind seeing some knees here to the bottom. Yeah, though, yeah, that would definitely be useful right here. Owen just pretty comfortable putting that knee across to try and block him from passing the mount, mm -hmm. but not doing much to get back up. Ooh, yeah, nice right. Shoulders. So this is what I always say, like, <clears throat> excuse me, Owen is fighting to not lose. He's not yeah. fighting to win. Right. He's, he, yeah, there you go. Yeah. And that's a, that's a big difference. That's you see, way to put it. you know, uh, we got a guy up in Kansas City, Trey Ogden. He fought about three weeks ago, and he made his UFC debut. He fought to not lose. He didn't fight to win, and I think he knows that. If you watch the fight, he fought very conservative. He didn't really go for any finishes, you know. Um, yeah, I watched that fight, man. That surprised me a lot. And, yeah, you, I couldn't say it better. That's uh, exactly what happened. You got to see those openings. and the, You got to see the openings and go for the finish. Like, I believe, Sean, I think your last fight, you pieced the dude up with, with boxing, and then you saw the body shots. Was that the last fight? Yeah, yep, that was my last and then, the first round. Yeah, and, and it's – you're, you weren't going for knockouts and like that, and you're like, oh, look at this, wide open. Bang, bang, and then done. Yeah, just trying to make, well, uh, yeah, that fight, I, I, had, I had my mind made up before I went in there that I was going to go for the kill the whole time. Good right yeah, hand. mix it up, a little body head. Oh, look at Clark, Clark passes Clark the pass full mount. This is not good go. for Owen Chance. Oh, Brown, oh, 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 solid left hand coming. Them. Yeah. Oh, wow, fight's over. He's bouncing them off the mat. About four solid left hands landed right yeah. there. That was not good for Owen Chance. Clark turned up right now. I didn't, I thought he was going to throw his mouth guard at me. More, more body uh, fluid for you? Yeah, I didn't want that. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at that replay on that finish, guys. We got Owen Chance on the ground with Clarkson Stith on top. Couple nice solid left hands right there on the ear. Those are those are dangerous shots, and you know he's generating a lot of power coming from a short distance. And all he needed was he needed that little bit of an inch to get that to, to get that position go to go from side like side control to you know or I'm sorry half guard to, to full mount. Yeah, Clark was real patient, but it paid off. Excellent finish by Clark Stiff, your new your new NFA got champion. Got the strap, new welterweight champion. He's gonna be he's gonna be a hard one to get that belt off of too. Yeah man, Clark is dedicated. I'm looking forward to his future. I think he has a bright, bright future in this sport. Young, 24 years old. Right for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Tim Franks has told us to stop at this fight. Two minutes, 42 seconds into the third and final round, declaring your winner by TKL and new NFA amateur welterweight champion, Clark the Menace. Nice okay, win you get a belt and a medal.